I think people are too quick to identify as a certain type of person these days. For example, oh, I'm, I'm too shy and unconfident, I have anxiety, I'm not that type of person. Things like this will keep you stuck because it's your belief about yourself. And if other people keep telling you that same thing as well, oh, that person's shy, it reinforces that belief. So then you don't even bother going for, for other opportunities in life. It really does keep you stuck. Lads, don't identify like such a strong and hold such a strong hold, like belief about yourself that you're this type of person. Because if that was the case, then you could never self-improve and become like confident, for example, if you were unconfident, if that makes sense. Just think of that. Because if you always identify, oh, I'm this type, I'm, I'm shy, that means you would never give yourself the opportunity, never give yourself the chance to be that confident, outgoing person, you know, extroverted person, whatever. You don't have to be extroverted to be able to speak to people and be confident, but you know what I mean. Back in the day, especially in school and, and it's the start of my university days, I was seen as, you know, shy, unconfident, you know, I had some anxiety in social situations. And that was further enforced by people around me like oh he's the shy one oh yeah he's unconfident oh, don't don't worry he's just a bit quiet constantly tell me this and that just reinforced my belief i was like yes that's why i'm not talking to people because i'm shy or, or whatever so i wouldn't even give myself a chance to go over and talk to different people because i identified so strongly with being shy and introverted looking back it's such a it's such a stupid thing because it really does just keep you stuck. You know, it's not set in stone. You can change. You don't have to be this certain type of person. You really limit your potential. You limit yourself. You limit opportunities you could have in life because you're so stubborn, like, oh yes, I'm this type of person. That means I can't go out and talk to, you know, any old stranger. I can't look people in the eyes. I can't order an ice cream properly. I'm socially awkward. You don't have to be that way. Because I was that way. And if you're that way, just know you can change. You just have to slowly change your belief. And how do you do that? You know, how did I change? I just got super annoyed and frustrated with myself. You're just looking in the mirror just like, why? I was like, <laughs> why can't you talk to people? Why do, you have to, why do you have to be awkward? And the truth is you don't have to be. But it takes action and it takes time. It takes effort, persistence, perseverance. Putting yourself in uncomfortable situations it could be the first one, it could be like just talking to a stranger, asking for the time, something as little as that. Back then, you know, heart would be beating, dun, 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 would be dying inside. But after so many interactions, forcing yourself, forcing myself to talk to other people, whether that's in the bar or the, or the gym or just out in daily life or in the shop, anything like that, you start realizing why were you so scared to talk to someone. You just got to put in the reps, just like you put in the reps in the gym. The gym helped as well. I went in the gym and I was challenging myself, slowly increasing the weight each time. Body started changing, started seeing results, felt more confident in myself. My self-belief went up. And the same thing can happen to you. And then I had that bit of confidence and kept forcing myself to talk to people. You know, and some of the interactions, I'm not going to lie, were really awkward. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It would be, <laughs> it would end on something like, so, so you talk to someone and then you you wouldn't know how to end the conversation properly so it's just like just silence and then you <laughs> you both just kind of just turn away <laughs> things like that but you have to go through that in order to get that experience and get that more confidence in, in yourself you know you have to go through those awkward experiences to become the person you want to become if you want to get out of that identity of oh, i'm shy i've got i'm what anxious in social situations this that and the other you need to go through the fire, okay? To put yourself through the fire and then you keep walking and you keep walking and you keep walking until you're out of the fire. That's how it works. You keep walking through the tunnel, keep walking through the cave until you can see the light at the end. And then you'll look back and all of a sudden you realize, oh wait, I am actually completely different. I'm not that person anymore. And when you look back and you see that, it's, it's a crazy thing. Guys, if I can do it, you can do it. You just gotta be willing to push yourself. Now, a big thing people struggle with is the environment because our environment can tend to drag us back down into our old beliefs about ourselves. So a really good way of reinventing yourself, your identity, your belief, you know, you can have an identity shift is simply by moving out of the town, you know, the city you live in. 
This happens when someone moves away from university, for example. They move an hour away, two hours away, five hours or eight hours away. In this new city and university they're in, no one knows who they are. They don't know what type of person they are. They don't know that they used to be shy back then. But what if they, they've turned up to university now and they've tried to be more social and they're trying to talk to everyone? People in that university are like, wait, this guy's a social guy. So they never would have thought or held that belief that you were shy or whatever in the city you were brought up in. You can totally reinvent yourself. You can be who you want to be. You know, nothing's dragging you back. Back into the old belief about yourself. You know, you could be all outgoing now in your new city. You talk to everyone you see. You get more confidence in yourself now. So you're talking to more people at the bar, this, that, the other. But then you go back to your old city. You know, to some of your older friends and you're all sitting down talking. And they still think you're this shy guy. And they're still trying to enforce onto you and impose onto you. Oh, you're, you're the shy person of the group. That's not how it works. You're not anymore. You're someone else. You're different. But if you've let it, those old beliefs and the beliefs your, your older friends have about you can slowly pull you back to the other end and it can slowly change your behavior. So be careful. That's why changing your environment is, is massive. Massive for your identity shift within yourself, okay? That's what's helped me as well. And I think it can help you. For me, in my case, I moved from Wales and I'm currently in London at the minute. I can be whoever I want to be here. Got nothing kind of trying, to, trying to drag me back. I'm not saying before. You know, before I moved here that I was in the situation where, you know, I completely identified as a shy person. I did figure that out years ago, but I'm just saying changing locations, changing cities really does help shift your identity. Okay. Be the person that you want to be. No one knows you here. You can be whoever you want to be. I hope this video has helped. And if you enjoy this one, why not watch another one? I'm sure I'll enjoy it. You got this.